Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a detailed examination of the Commitment of Traders report. You know, the COT report. Exactly. To see if it can actually be helpful for short-term trading. And I am excited to learn more about that. Yeah. I usually think of it as more of a long-term analysis tool. Yeah, it definitely has applications for long-term analysis. All right. But the real magic happens when you start to use it to inform your short-term trades. Okay, now you've got me really intrigued. <laughs> for our listeners who are maybe new to this, can you break down exactly what the COT report is and what makes it so special? Absolutely. In essence, the COT report is a weekly snapshot of the holdings of major traders in the futures markets. So it's like getting a sneak peek into what the big players are doing. Exactly. It categorizes these traders into three main groups commercials, large speculators, okay. and small speculators. And I'm guessing understanding these groups is key. You got it. Each group has different motivations and trading styles. Right. And by tracking their positions, we can gain valuable insights into market sentiment. All right, let's unpack these groups one by one. Let's start with the commercials. Who are they and why should we care about what they're doing? Commercials are typically large institutions or companies that deal directly with the underlying commodity or asset. Okay. Um, think of a multinational corporation hedging against currency fluctuations to protect their profits, or a large agricultural firm managing their exposure to price swings in corn futures. So they're not just playing the market, they've got skin in the game. Exactly. And because they're so deeply involved in the physical market, their actions often reflect a very informed view of supply and demand dynamics. Okay, that makes sense. Now what about the large speculators? Who falls into that category? Large speculators are typically hedge funds, investment banks, or other large trading firms. Okay. Their primary goal is to profit from price movements. Right. And they often take on significant leverage to amplify their returns. So they're the ones who can really move the market. They can definitely have a substantial impact, especially in markets with less liquidity. All right. And lastly, we have the small speculators. Yep. I'm guessing that's where most individual traders like myself would fall. Exactly. Small speculators represent the retail side of the market, okay. including individual traders, smaller funds, and anyone else who doesn't fit into the other two categories. So we've got our three main players. Yeah. The commercials with their insider knowledge, the large speculators making big moves, right. and the small speculators like us trying to ride the waves. A perfect summary. But how do we actually make sense of all this data? The report itself can be pretty overwhelming. What should we be focusing on? One of the most valuable aspects of the COT report is understanding the actions of the commercials. Okay. Because they have such deep knowledge of their respective markets, they're often considered the smart money. Gotcha. So if the commercials are loading up on long positions in a particular commodity, that might suggest they're anticipating a price increase. Exactly. And conversely, if they're heavily short, uh -huh. it could signal a potential downturn. So it's almost like getting a glimpse into their playbook. In a way, yes. Of course, it's not a foolproof system. Right. Commercials can be wrong and the market can move against them. Right. No crystal ball in trading. But by tracking their positions, we can get a better understanding of the underlying forces driving the market. This is fascinating. So if we want to use the COT report for short term trading, are we essentially looking for situations where the commercials are taking a strong directional bias? That's a great starting point. OK. We'll dive into some more specific strategies in a bit. Sounds good. Before we move on though, can you explain why the commercials often seem to be going against the prevailing trends? Yeah. It feels counterintuitive. That's a great observation. It's important to remember that commercials are often using the futures markets for hedging purposes, not speculation. Okay. They're trying to mitigate risk, not necessarily predict future price movements. So if a particular commodity is in a strong uptrend and everyone's getting bullish, the commercials might actually be increasing their short positions to protect themselves in case the price drops. Exactly. Their actions might seem counterintuitive to someone solely focused on the price chart. Right. But it makes perfect sense when you consider their hedging motives. This is starting to paint a much clearer picture for me. That's it yeah. seems like understanding the COT report can add a whole new dimension to our trading analysis. Absolutely. And it's this added dimension that can give you a significant edge in the markets. Well, I'm definitely eager to learn more about how to apply these insights to my short-term trading. But maybe we should uh, take a quick pause here and come back fresh to explore some specific strategies and examples. Sounds like a plan. Let's dive deeper in the next part. Perfect. We'll be right back after a short break. Sounds good.
All right, so let's pick up where we left off and actually get into some practical ways to integrate the COT report into your short-term trading strategies. Yes, let's do it. You know, I'm excited to uh, share some of the ways that I've found this to be useful. Um, The first thing to remember is that the COT report shouldn't be used in isolation. Okay. It's most effective when combined with your existing technical analysis and risk management practices. So it's not about throwing out our charts and indicators. Right. But rather adding another layer of analysis to the mix. Exactly. Think of the COT report as a way to confirm or challenge your technical signals. Yep. To add another level of conviction to your trades. I like that. It's like getting a second opinion from a trusted advisor. Precisely. Now, one of the simplest yet most effective ways to use the COT report is as a filter for your short-term trades. A filter? What do you mean by that? So, let's say you're primarily a trend follower. Okay. You identify a potential uptrend in a particular market based on your technical indicators. Right. Before jumping in, you consult the COT report to see if the commercials are also leaning bullish. So, we're looking for that alignment between the technical signals and the COT data. Exactly. If the commercials are net long and increasing their positions, it could be a green light to proceed with the trade. Because it suggests that the smart money is also seeing the potential for an uptrend. Precisely. On the other hand, yeah. if the commercials are net short and adding to their positions, right. it might be a warning sign to hold back. Oh. Even if your technical indicators are flashing bullish signals. It's like having that extra layer of confirmation right. or a red flag if things don't align. A perfect analogy. Now, another way to use the COT report is to anticipate potential market reversals. Okay, this is where things get really interesting. I've always struggled with identifying turning points. Yeah. How can the COT report help with that? Look for situations where the commercials are taking a significant position. Okay. That's contrary to the prevailing trend. So if a market has been in a downtrend for weeks, Uh but the commercials are suddenly starting to accumulate long positions, Right. That could be a hint that a reversal is brewing. Exactly. It suggests that they might be seeing value where others only see weakness. That's fascinating. It's like they're getting in early before the rest of the market catches on. Exactly. Of course, it's not a guarantee of a reversal. Right. But it's definitely something to pay close attention to. Okay. Especially when combined with other technical signals that suggest a potential change in momentum. So we're looking for those moments where the COT data is hinting at a shift in sentiment. Right. Before it becomes obvious on the price chart. Precisely. And this is where using multiple time frames can be really powerful. Okay. You might see the commercials starting to shift their positions on the weekly COT report. Okay. While the daily chart is still showing a downtrend. Right. But by drilling down to the hourly or even 15 minute chart. Yeah you might start to see early signs of a potential reversal. So it's about connecting those dots between the different time frames and seeing how the COT data fits into the bigger picture. Exactly. It's all about putting together the pieces of the puzzle. This is all starting to click for me. But before we move on to specific examples, are there any other nuances or pitfalls we should be aware of when using the COT report? One important thing to keep in mind is that the COT report is a lagging indicator. Okay. It tells us what positions traders held at a particular point in time, okay. not necessarily what they're doing right now. So it's like looking in the rearview mirror. We can see where we've been, but not necessarily where we're going. Exactly. And that means we need to be careful about interpreting the data. Okay. Just because the commercials were heavily net long last week. Right. Doesn't mean they're still in that position today. So how do we account for that lag? The key is to look for trends and changes in positioning over time. Right. Are the commercials consistently increasing or decreasing their net positions? Right. Is there a sudden shift in sentiment? Those are the types of signals that can be particularly valuable. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So we're not just looking at a single data point. Right. But rather the overall overall story that the COT report is telling us. Precisely. It's about seeing the forest, not just the trees. I'm starting to feel like I'm developing a whole new appreciation for the COT report. Good. But I know there's still a lot more to learn. Yeah. Are there any specific technical tools or indicators that we can use alongside the COT data to improve our analysis? Absolutely. There are a few key technical indicators that can complement the COT data beautifully. Okay. One of my favorites is open interest. Open interest. Yeah. I've heard that term before, but can you refresh my memory on what it means? Open interest represents the total number of outstanding futures contracts in a particular market. 
It's a measure of the overall participation and liquidity in that market. So a high open interest suggests a lot of activity and interest in that market. Exactly. Now, when we combine open interest with the COT data, yeah. we can start to see some interesting patterns. Such as? Let's say we see the commercials increasing their net long positions in a market. Okay. And at the same time, open interest is also rising. Uh -huh. That's a very bullish signal. Because it suggests that not only are the smart money players getting in, Right. But new money is also flowing into the market. Exactly. It's a sign of increasing conviction and momentum. That's a powerful combination. What about situations where open interest is declining? What does that tell us? Declining open interest can be a warning sign. Okay. It suggests that traders are losing interest in the market. Right. And it can sometimes foreshadow a reversal. So if we see the commercial starting to reduce their net positions, and open interest is also declining. Yeah. That might be a signal to tighten our stops or even consider exiting our trades. Exactly. It's a sign that the wind might be changing direction. This is all making so much more sense now. I'm starting to see how the COT report can really enhance our technical analysis and give us a deeper understanding of market dynamics. And we're just scratching the surface. Wow. There are many other ways to analyze and interpret the COT data, depending on your trading style and the specific markets you're interested in. Well, I'm definitely hooked. I can't wait to see how we can apply these concepts to real-world trading examples. Oh, that's exactly what we'll be doing in the next part. Awesome. Get ready to put all these insights into action. All right, I'm really excited to see how all of this comes together in practice. <laughs> can you walk us through some real-world trading scenarios where the COT report could have made a significant difference? Absolutely. Let's start with a scenario that many short-term traders might find familiar. Okay. Trading a currency pair like the Euro against the US dollar or Euro USD on a 15-minute chart. Okay, that's a popular choice for traders who want more action than the hourly charts. Yeah. But aren't quite ready for the intensity of scalping on the one-minute chart. Exactly. Now, let's say you've noticed a series of lower highs and lower lows forming on the URSD, Just suggesting a potential downtrend is developing. A classic bearish signal. Right. But lower time frames are notorious for false signals, so I'd definitely be hesitant to jump in right away. Smart move. This is where the COT report can provide valuable confirmation. Consider you consult the report and find that large speculators have been consistently increasing their net short positions in Euro futures over the past few weeks. Okay, so we're seeing that alignment between the technical picture, mm -hmm. the bearish price action on the 15 minute chart, and the COT data showing large speculators leaning bearish as well. Precisely. This confluence of signals strengthens the case for a potential downtrend, Okay. giving you more confidence to look for short selling opportunities. So instead of just shorting the euro based solely on the 15 minute chart pattern, right. the COT report provides that extra layer of conviction. Exactly. It's like having another piece of evidence supporting your trading decision. I'm starting to see how this can be incredibly powerful. Now let's shift gears to a different scenario, Okay. perhaps involving commodities. How about gold? Mm -hmm. It's known for its volatility and can be a popular choice for short-term traders. Great example. Let's say you're watching gold futures and notice that it's been in a consolidation phase on the daily chart, bouncing between a well-defined support and resistance level. Gold often goes through these periods of consolidation before making a significant move. Yeah. So this is a situation many traders will be familiar with. Absolutely. Now consider you delve into the COT report and discover that commercials have been steadily increasing their net long positions in gold futures over the past several weeks, despite the sideways price action. That's interesting. It seems like they're anticipating a potential breakout to the upside, uh -huh. even though the price hasn't confirmed it yet. Exactly. Remember, commercials often have a deeper understanding of market fundamentals due to their direct involvement in the physical market. Right. Their persistent accumulation of long positions suggests a brewing bullish sentiment that might not be evident from the price chart alone. So how would a short-term trader use this insight? Armed with this knowledge, you could focus on a lower time frame like the one hour chart okay and look for buying opportunities that align with a potential breakout from this consolidation phase for example i might wait for a strong bullish candle closing above that resistance level on the one hour chart perhaps 